Hi guys, hi everyone. Um, I just decided to come to this video today because um, I'm really getting frustrated. Um, I I have been in Toronto since um, Friday, coming from Nigeria, and uh, we were told that um, we needed to do another um, COVID test. And that uh, if your test comes out immediately, like negative, then you you can go home. So I had a connecting flight from um, from Toronto to Edmonton. So now um, these guys, I missed my flight, of course, because they brought us to um, to a hotel and we did a COVID test at the airport, and then um, and then um, they said um, we should come to the hotel. And uh, if your test comes out immediately, then you can um, you can take your flight. You need a paper from um, you need a paper from uh, um, quarantine officers or a nurse to to um, say that you're cleared, right? So now my results came back on a Saturday. I got here on Friday. My results came back on a Saturday. I forwarded the results straight to the email that I was given. I forwarded it straight to them and um, they acknowledged that they got the email and they got my results and they said thank you for um, sending your results to us. Okay, fine. So now I'm getting so frustrated. These people are not communicating. My result came out since Saturday, guys. Since Saturday and it came out as negative. So, since Saturday, I am in Hilton, in Toronto Airport. We, the first day I came here, there was no food. There was nothing. Okay, now, I don't have body cream. I don't have um, toothpaste. I requested for toothpaste. And the lady, but the front desk, I called the front desk at the hotel that I would like to have some toothpaste. The front desk connected me straight away to Red Cross. So Red Cross now is telling me, the lady is telling me that, oh, um, I don't need toothpaste to brush my mouth. So they refuse to even bring toothpaste. So what I'm doing is using salt and brush. Okay. Okay. Why am I being held here? I was told that when my result comes out, even if it's a day when my result comes out that I would, I could go home immediately. So my result has been out since on Saturday. Guys, I am wearing this for days now. I'm not able to open my box because if the way it was wrapped, right? If I open, I won't be able to pack back my box. You understand my bags again. So I have to leave my bags like this. So these people are just here. When I call the officers, what am I getting? Oh, we don't know. We know this is not the answer you're um, expecting to get. But sorry, uh, you have to wait for a quarantine officer. Why am I waiting for a quarantine officer if my result is negative? And why am I staying longer than usual? The highest time you should stay when you get in contact with the first um, city or state is three days. So how, have I, how come I've been in Toronto since Friday... My kids know that I'm in Canada and yet they cannot see me. I'm coming for my mother's funeral. Spent almost a, over a month in Nigeria, leaving my kids. Coming back, they know that I'm in Canada, but yet I cannot see my children. And yet I'm not getting any proper communication, guys. What is going on? Nobody is talking. When you call, they'll tell you that, uh, you know, so sorry about that. We are going to... Uh, what's the word now? Um, they are going to fast track everything. For four days now, they've been trying to fa fast track everything. And yet, nothing is happening. I have just been kept in this room for days. Look at it. For days. No movement. No going even outside your door. Nothing. There is no communication, no reason to keep me here. You found that my result is negative, then why are you holding me back? Why am I being held in Toronto? Come on, everyone. Can you people share this? To see? The, the ill treatment is bad. For someone to even tell you that you don't need toothpaste to brush your mouth. No bathing soap. Look at the cream I saw at the hotel. It's, up, it's for how, how many days would this last you? 
And when you request, they tell you that you don't really need it. If you are coming to Canada and you live in Alberta, please come down in Calgary. So that it's not far from your house. Because this is so crazy. I have to be, oh, who is paying for my ticket to go back to Edmonton? They said I am responsible for it. When you are the one that made me miss my flights. This is just, it's just too inhuman. What am I being held? This is my question. Are they looking for something that is not there? Come on, I just thought to make a video because this is really getting frustrating. I have children that are needing me. I'm supposed to be changing my house. And then the children are alone, trying to struggle by themselves. Even if, if I were to be quarantined in my house, at least I'll be packing one or two boxes in the room. There is the, the most annoying thing is that there is nobody communicating with you. Nobody. And when you call, they'll tell you, um, sorry, there's really nothing. Uh, you know, we know this is not what you really want to hear. Uh, there is really nothing. Um, we'll try. We'll try. There's really nothing we can do. Uh, we'll try. We'll try to get back to you. Since four days, nobody's getting back to me. And I have been calling and the same story is repeating itself. The same story. The same story every day. What is it? What is the offense? That I went to bury my mother? Is that my offense to be kept in here? Or that my results came out negative? That they didn't find what they were looking for? What is the offense, guys? Can somebody help me call, ask questions? Because I don't know. It's just, it's just so, it's just frustrating. I left, everybody knows, I left Nigeria. Other people, they got to their homes. My siblings are already in their homes. Everybody else that traveled got to their homes. I am held up in Toronto for how many days now, since, since Friday? Without any proper reason. Without any proper reason, without anybody communicating. I don't know what to do because without the paper they said they have to give to you, you cannot board. You cannot get angry and pack your bag and say you're going to the airport. You have to leave. Toronto to Edmonton is five hours flight. You cannot go because no, no flight is going to take you without the paper. The approval from the, from the quarantine officer. And no, there is no quarantine officer coming. How could you travel for over a month? To grieve, you come back again to a country you call your own and you are grieving again. You are being locked down. For what? What they were looking for was COVID, COVID, whatever, to see whether you were positive or negative. Okay, I'm negative. Why am I here? I don't have an answer. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody's communicating. When I call, sorry, ma'am, I know this is not what you really want to hear, uh, but please, you know, uh, we'll try to fast track it and get back to you. The same thing for the past four days, and yet nobody will call you except you call. Nobody will call except you call. And when you call, there's no communication. There's nothing. To the extent that I requested for toothpaste and soap, I was told that I, would, I don't need it. That I don't need, ah, you don't need, you don't, you, you know, look at the salt they are giving for meals. That's what I'm using to brush my mouth. For days now. That's what I'm using to brush my mouth. Anytime they bring a meal, I cut this one out to brush my mouth. What, what is the reason for this? Why? Why? Is my offense that I didn't I didn't test positive? Or my offense is that I went to I went to bury my mother. I don't know. Because I'm going to be contacting the news. I'm going to be contacting the news because this is not it's not it's not human at all. It's not human. Guys, please share. 
Share let this get because it's, it's Hilton Hotel at the airport. Toronto. Thank you, everyone.